It's time to get jazzed for the jazz club. Dude, that's my joke. Thief. I stole your joke. Thief. And your Lego set. <laughs> Welcome back to Fromania, and welcome to the world's fanciest Lego recording studio. As you can see, I'm alone today. It's just me, you, the camera, and a pile of bricks. Because I could not wait to show you my brand new Lego Modular Jazz Club that I picked up just for me. It's been a long... Bro, dude, who spent you? It's time to get jazzed for the jazz club. Dude, that's my joke. You thief. I stole your joke. Thief. And your Lego set. <laughs> that's right. Caleb's brand new jazz club modular is in the house. All 2,899 pieces of it. I do want to clarify, though, Caleb, that you are not the one that paid for the Jazz Club Modular either. Mm -hmm. No, you did not. And I did not either. This was a birthday gift. Yeah. It was a birthday gift about a week ago. Mm -hmm. Whenever this video airs, it might have been like six weeks ago. I don't know because I have no idea when I'm gonna edit this. But this was a birthday gift to add to your modular city. You have a lot of modular in your collection now. Some of those are my old modular that you've inherited. One of those modular isn't even built right now. That was your brother's modular. But this is modular number, do you even know? Hmm. Let's see, we've got the diner, we've got the garage, we've got the Parisian restaurant, we've got the bookstore, we've got the jazz club, we've got the hotel, we have Assembly Square. Uh, police station. Police station. How is that? I forgot to count. All that to say, you have a lot of modular. Yes. I wish we had the space to begin to build a city. And right now we don't, but maybe one day we'll be able to begin building a Lego city, which would be so fun to do. Maybe it's the So end. cool to do. And then we won't have anywhere to film. Lego Jazz Club, how would you rank this compared to your others? Is this your favorite? Is it like middle of the road? Is it least favorite? What are you thinking on your initial impression? Um, my favorite. They just, they get better every single year. Um, I would say my second favorite, of course, would be the police station, but, um, it was so fun because I always study the modulars before I buy them. I just knew I wanted the modular. Like, some of the colors I didn't even know. Like, I knew, of, of course, the dark red and the yellow. But I didn't even know this was burnt orange down here. So it's just like so fun getting to see it all come together. So you wanted to be surprised when you built this yes. one. So you didn't study a lot of the photos beforehand. So it would be new as you were building mm -hmm. it. About how long did this one take you to build? I know you didn't sit and build it all the way through in one sitting. But cumulatively, how long do you think it took? Um, Actual build time, I would say close to... 10 to 11 hours. All right, so not bad. No. You tend to build at a leisurely pace. You enjoy building Lego. Mm -hmm. I do have a question though. Why are they called apartments when they're all stuck together? And why do they call them driveways when you park on them? And why do they call them parkways when you drive on them? And why do they call it cargo when it goes on a ship? And then why do they drive shipments? I don't know. Oh my! Oh. These questions and more, we do not have the answer to. But what we do have the answer to is that the Jazz Club is an absolutely incredible modular set. I'll tell you one of my favorite things, and it is the front facade, because to me, this front facade feels a lot like Palace Cinema. And Palace Cinema is the modular that got away from me. I remember seeing it on the covers of Lego catalogs when they came in the mail. And might I add, we don't get as many Lego catalogs in the mail. Yeah, come on, Lego! It's kind of sad. And every time I would see it, I'm like, I want that modular, I want that modular, I want that modular. And I could never rationalize 
buying it. And now when I look at the prices of Palace Cinema, I wish I would have. I've put a few offers in on different ones. None of them have been accepted, but I do have a ceiling of what I'm willing and able to pay without committing bank fraud. And we haven't found that limit yet. So Caleb, the main premise of this set is a jazz club. Mm -hmm. But a jazz club is not all that we see here. So let's start on the bottom floor here of this yellow building. What do we have lurking in the bottom floor? Uh, of course we have to have the pizza shop so you can have a quick bite to eat before the show starts. I think it's at 8 p.m. You sound like a salesman. I think it's it starts like, come at 8 get a pizza. Caleb was also hired as the social media marketer for the pizzeria. So come get a pizza before the show that starts at 8 o'clock. Is it 8? I think it's 8. Let me look at the marquee and see. Does it say? Oh, there's a magic show? Yeah. I did not know that there was a magic show at the jazz club. So here's one thing that feels kind of awkward to me. When I want to look in the pizza shop and you look at the assembly, it would feel like this yellow piece, because it's kind of bulky, would come off individually, but it does not. It comes off as one solid piece. You are wrong. What? Watch. If you take this, if you remove this, and if you remove this, there are two tiles here that will come off. First time they've ever done this. Ah, so you can split this piece off and then when you hook it back on, if you wanted to, is remove the two pins from the side here, put this room back on top, and then you can have two separate structures when they come off. But by default, they do not. They are attached by default where the entire floor lifts off. So on the second level, we have a room above the pizzeria. What room is lurking here above the pizzeria? This is the Taylor's shop. It is so amazing. Um, the singer lady, I'm Taylor not. Mason, the comedian? Paco. No. It's amazing. So the singer, she should have like a black skirt on there. He is the tailor for her to make sure everything is correct. There's actually a fun reference since her dress has gold. There is gold fabric in there. So it's really so cool. neat. Maybe Rumpelstiltskin was spinning gold thread in there for her. And then on the rooftop above the tailor shop, we have... The green room. Not green room. That's... No. It is a green room. It's a garden green room. Sure. Sure. Is this owned by the pizzeria? Is yes. this where they're getting fresh ingredients uh -huh. for their pizzas? Now, the magician does have a rabbit, so you will see one carrot in there that is re reserved for the ma magician. Oh, really? Tell. Yes. Did it say that in the book? Yes, it did. That That's is so cool. So cool. Yeah. One of the best parts just about the instruction book is every single little detail refers to other modulars, like um, the green grocer and everything. It's just really good. That's so neat. I typically am just blasting through my instructions. I feel like on modulars, you've got to take the time to read all of the details and know exactly what is going on. So that conquers this little one third split of the building. Then we've got the big daddy over here. Mm -hmm. On the base floor, what's tucked away on the base floor here? So we have the actual jazz club. So um, there's a stage kind of to the bottom right in the corner. And there is six seats with um, three tables. So get your tickets early after your pizza. Yes, this there is a little out. ticket shop, actually. Um, so uh, it's great. Um, there is a little, uh, let's see, what's it called? Like a light thing, like a light setup that you can pull out, supposed to, and you can reset the stage. Oh, like a lighting rig and yeah. curtains. So you can see it in here. Oh, see, yeah, you can see it right down in there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So then on the next floor up, because you just said we could see all the way through to the bottom. Yes. So the next floor up is a special room. Yes. So this is the manager of the jazz club's office. So there's a desk um, with a cool angle. It says she did not want to have her desk at any other angle. She wanted to be special at a like 45, 90 degree angle. Um, there's a little record player back there a telephone and there is a balcony where she can listen to the jazz club's night shows and there's also stained glass a stained glass effect on the front here which looks really cool from the inside the way it reflects the colors 
And in the center here, this little tiny center section is actually where the staircase is mm -hmm. that goes up the building. Yep. Then we have the top room here, the top hat of the jazz club. What is tucked away in the top room of the jazz club, Caleb? So this is like the setup room for like the get ready room. So there is some sheet music, there's a little couch, there's like a uh, makeup desk. But yeah, it's really good. There is a door with access to the green room. Uh, right here is the stair set. To get oh, to the I top. get it. I see now. So it's a shared staircase with the pizzeria and that's how yep. they access. And then there's a ladder that comes up to the roof and a hatch that you walk into the yes. roof, which is really cool. And if you saw when I flipped it over, there's a squirrel hiding on the roof with a stolen piece of pizza. Yes, so the, um, it actually doesn't give that piece of pizza to the squirrel. Um, it came with an extra tile. So um, there is a note in the book that says you have to watch out when you're done at the pizzeria because it'll steal your pizza. Ah, uh, so you used one of the extra tiles and the squirrel got away. Yes. That's a Caleb original. No, it's actually a Micah original and I stole his idea. There's also upside down here a really cool wheel well element that I yes. don't know that I've seen on other vehicles before. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it might have been on the crane. I think the new crane, it might have been on it, but I'm not sure. The Jazz Club came, as most modulars do, with several minifig. You've got, let's see here, one, two, eight. three, four, five, six, seven, eight minifig. They include a chef, a delivery driver, a couple of patrons that are eating pizza out front. You've got a couple of Jazz Club musicians. Is there a magician that comes with there the set is. as well? So let me grab her right here. So she comes with the most accessories out of all of them. She comes with a rabbit. A flower and a hat, some like confetti stuff, but that's it for her. And then the delivery driver has a hairpiece. So all of these accessories come with the magician. She has a little bit of confetti for her magic trick. She has a rabbit and she has flowers in a hat. Caleb, what's your favorite thing about this set? Obviously, everything is awesome, but what's your what's your standout highlight of the Jazz Club modular? Um, I would just say this is the most usable set. Like, um, not to knock on any of the other modulars, they're all amazing. Just this one just seems the most usable, like just to like get in there, like stuff can be removed in this one. So your hands can get in and actually yes, yeah. move around and act out scenes and set up the band and cook pizza. Mm -hmm. Are there any things that you just didn't like about this set that you're like, man, I wish they didn't do this on this set? I mean, no. I mean, it's all done to perfection. I mean, the even just like how this got detached, like it's amazing. Now, some of the layering of the bricks was hard for me, but I am underage on the set. I'm like seven years younger than what it should be. Six hey, years younger. you're an underage builder? Uh, so, like, just hard to see how the instructions were laying out the brick? Is that what you're talking um, about? Yeah, I just, especially hooking this together, because you build the second floor of this, and then you build this. So you have to make sure that the pegs line up, which was one of the hardest things that I had to do. All right. On the back of the set, you also have just a small little back porch and a little back entrance. It feels like it needs a vending machine back here. That would be awesome. Maybe next time we're at Bricks and Minifig, we find a vending machine that can go on the back porch. Is there anything you would change about this? No. I don't know. It's just so good. Um... What is, what is in this little box in the It back? is the wood to go for his chimney. Uh, ah, the wood fire okay. Oven. Wood fire pizza oven. How would you rank this? Is this your favorite modular yet? Absolutely. I'm just curious. If this is your favorite, what would be your second favorite modular you own? The police station, um, which actually goes by it, which is cool. On the box, it says the two that go next to it which is the boutique hotel, which is down there, and the police station. All right. I would say the corner garage and the diner are two of my favorite modulars. Mm -hmm. They're also my own modulars, yeah. so they do have a special place in That's my heart. True. That's true. But I really like the boutique hotel as well, and the Parisian, re 
They're all amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, I don't yeah. think that a, a modular has come out that I've been unhappy with yet. We do not have Brick Bank. We do not have Palace Cinema. We do not have Town Hall. Green Grocer. We do not have Green Grocer. We do not have Grand Emporium. Don't have the fire station. Or the fire station. Other than that, we've got everything from that point forward, I believe. And we'll continue to pick up modular despite the space limitations in our home. Mm -hmm. So, Caleb, you were saying there was one thing that you wanted to share about the instructions on this set yes. as well. So, I don't know if it was a print error just for my book, but I believe it was bag 12 and 13 were mixed. So, what I mean by that is when I was building bag 12, I ran out of pieces. Just figured it was the end of the bag, right? I mean, as you would. But there were still more steps to bag 12. So, I pull a bag um, from under the couch. And I was like, oh. Wait, under the couch? I, it happens. It happens. Um, and I see it says 13. I didn't realize that was actually on bag 12. I just figured I was on bag 13. And just was an extra bag for bag 13. I opened it. I start building. And the pages I come across bag 13. I'm already used bag 13 pieces. I just keep going and everything is fine from there. So just if that happens to you, don't worry. Just keep building. Go from bag 12 and 13. I don't know if it notes something in the instructions like bag 12 and 13 will be combined. I didn't look, but just as a little note. That's a really odd Lego anomaly. I don't think we've ever had that happen before, but you finished the set. And here she is. Yes. Caleb, I'm excited that this is in the house. I get to live vicariously through your jazz club. Mm -hmm. And I am very jazzed. Let's go. For the jazz club. I'm also jazzed to hear about when you guys go out there and give more, do, do more, more, share, share more, more, and, and love, love more. And whatever you do, remember to share your smile with other people. Because it truly is contagious. Contagious! Do more, share more, and love.